Hi, I'm TJ Lynch for BuyRoatan.com. I'm standing in front of the uh, Roatan uh, Marine Park office, which is the authority for the marine reserve that surrounds Roatan. Let's go in and see what uh, exactly they do. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi there. I'm TJ Lynch. I'm Sandy Castillo. Hi, Sandy. And what do you do here? I'm the administrator of the marine park. I control the finances. I do the budget, the work plan for the year yearly, and I control the two cruise ship docks that we have in the terminal, in the Port of Roatan and Mojave Bay. Awesome. The marine park is all what you see over here, the, the coral and all the, the, the fishes and everything. This is all in a protected area. But we are an NGO called the Marine Park, which we try to preserve and conserve the marine life. And we, have, we do it by many programs, which is education program, patrolling program, we have a research and research and monitoring program. We have a volunteer program too, and we now are trying to have an internship program where where people from around the world the world come come here and do investigations and leave all this to us to do here in the marine park. So it sounds like you're trying to bring public awareness yes. to protect and save the reef. Yes, exactly. Awesome. And we too that's why we have the stands of the cruise ship too as well. To, to create public awareness to the cruise shippers that come here. The Marine Park is 13 kilometers off coastline from Lawson Rock to Kehoe Bay. And, and we patrol the whole area because this is our jurisdiction for... Well, by law, we have this jurisdiction now. So, The Marine Park was established uh, five years ago by a group of divers and they now have their board members. They have their president, their treasurer, their vice president and now they have we have this big office with the gift shop that we're now having and basically we're trying to do whatever everything we can do for the reef. <laughs> Sandy I see these little boats uh, go up and down the beaches and, and around the water and they have Marine Park on the side of them, and, and it looks like there's sometimes a police officer in the boat as well, as well as a captain. W what is the purpose of those? They're here to ensure that the law is being done, like all the regulations the Marine Park has, and the law too, as well. And every time they catch somebody doing illegal, they put them in jail and they give them a fine or they give them a punishment if they're under 18, because we're not allowed to put them in jail. What is uh, illegal? What's illegal here? Illegal? Well, you can't spear fishing. You can't. You can't take conch out of the marine park. You can take uh, lobster if it's um, little, 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 little than 5.5 uh, inches. inches. You cannot take that out of the marine park. You have to have. It's, it have to. It has to be bigger than 5.5. So that's, conch. Conch. You can't take conch no out conch. of the marine park. So if you guys, uh, if they catch somebody doing that, they arrest them? They arrest them, immediately. Excellent. Um, well, we do have the education program, which we ed we go to educate uh, children to the to all the schools around the island, giving them, giving them environmental education, telling me what they don't have to do, telling, me, telling them that they don't have to touch the coral. Uh, in the last few months, there's been the, a predator that has come into the waters here. Um, can you tell me about that? Yeah, that would be the lionfish, which we have a big problem with them because every week we're finding like at least 25, between 25 or 30 lionfish a week. And it's eating all the fishes and eating off the coral, leaving no fishes for the, for the people to see and the corals are die too if we don't have anything if we're not monitoring it every day so so it sounds like you guys are proactive in trying to deal yeah, with that we're trying so the to lionfish fish was introduced to the Caribbean waters from somewhere else yeah it's not it's not native to it's not native from here yeah. and when did the lionfish start showing up it started showing up like around May or April okay so almost a year now yeah 
and they breed quite quite often. They what? breed, breed quite, quite often. And we found the little ones too, so... You know that they're having babies, yeah. <laughs> Sandy, you know, living in West Bay, I see a lot of people that uh, are out snorkeling, um, you know, swimming in the, in the, in the water there, and, and, and I see people touching and standing on the coral. What, what's that all about? Well, basically, if they touch the coral, then it, it's going to die. And if people keep on touching it, it's going to die eventually. So that's we try to we try to enforce like with the boat captain with the officer to to tell the, the tourists not to just touch the, the coral, like keeping them in the briefing of what they don't have to do. Or if they see someone standing on it, yeah, they yell at yeah, them. They yell at them. But that's basically what we can do. And we try our best here to. So they don't shoot them with spear guns yet. No, <laughs> not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> By having the marine park, we have we have been able to save a lot of the marine park because if we're not here, then who who else would be taking care of the reef and protecting and it. protecting it? Yeah. So basically, we have we we're doing a big job and we're doing our best. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Sandy. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you. much for your time. Thank it's you. been wonderful to talk to you. Thank you. <laughs> From the offices of the Rotan Marine Park, I'm TJ Lynch for BuyRotan.com.